there is three versions of Azure function. There is the version one that is running with .NET Framework. The second version is running with .NET Core and the third uh, version that is also running with the .NET Core. Let's discover the difference between these three versions. From a .NET perspective, the strong reason to move from a version to another version of the Azure function is the upgrade of the .NET version. So we are going to discover what is the main difference between the three versions. The first is the 1.0. So what is the challenge apported by this version? The need to integrate more language like Java, Python and PowerShell. Only able to host in on Windows environment and not support for a development like Mac or Linux. Assembly probing and a binding issue for .NET developer and the performance issue on a range of scenario language. The lack of UX guidance to a production success. So what is the new in the version 2.0? That is a new function quit started by selected programming language. Upgraded runtime built on .NET Core 2.1 supported .NET framework on the previous version. That is the main change between the first version and the second version. That is, support more uh, function uh, language programming and the version of the .NET. The first one with the first one is with .NET framework. The second one is with .NET Core 2.x version. The deployment run core from a package. The .NET function uh, loading changes. Tooling upgrade with Visual Studio, CLI and VS Code and conception based CLI. The new with the Azure function 3.0 that is support .NET Core 3.x version. That is the newest .NET Core version. If we resume all changes in this table, the .NET supported in the version 1.0 is the .NET framework, but in the version 2.0 the .NET Core 2.1 and the third version is the .NET Core 3.0. The assembly isolation with the first version that is no supported uh, assembly isolation and that is supported in the version 2.0. The binding version runtime version with the first one and the user controlled with the second and the language supported the first one is limited but upgrade that support more external programming language like java python and powershell node.js version 6 that is supported but the newest upgrade that support the 8 and 10 plus future version native node.js module that is not supported in the function 1.0 but is supported in the function 2.0 with the http trigger HTTP and specialized webhook that is supported with the old version and the newest version, the HTTP support webhook. The language runtime, multiple language per function app and a single language per function app. Function proxy with GA is supported in the two version. The open API definition with the preview one in the upgrade and the that is not yet um, available in the 2.0. Observability with the first version, application inside, web job, dashboard, and with the second version, application inside. The migration from the first version to the second and then the third version of Azure function. The upgrade is possible between the version 2 to the version 3 because we are in the .NET Core. But from the first to the second, we have a difficulty because we have a .NET Core and a .NET Framework. It is more difficult to have an upgrade. 